why we're here. And the Board of Supervisors needs to stand up with us and say, you know, no more. We want, we want to spend our third class in the pennies, nickels, and a case of shiny dollars. Okay? And we need to and we're going to be here until we get it. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Hello, Mike. I was just inspired. I mean, whatever. In my heart. I heard yesterday that the Iraq war cost $100 million. All the support that it needed, as well as the draft action. Did you hear that $13 trillion was doled out to banks and financial <laughs> firms? And in my mind, I have seen less from that than I have from the Iraq war, which is the biggest tragedy of my lifetime. Uh, means that my priorities need to change real quick. I've been out here for a while. I've seen a lot of good action. I've seen a lot of tragedy that's been supported by this community to bring people up from the most dire straits in their lives. And, and not enough love for it. I'd love to reach out to the community that only stops by on occasion so they can realize what challenges we deal with on the day of the day. People have real struggles here on the street, and we need your love to be able to bring them up, to be citizens, to be able to contribute to society in meaningful ways. I mean, these are basic needs that I'm striving for. My education points me toward the WTO, the World Bank, international trade that is tragedy because it has nothing to do with democracy. But in my eyes and in my lifetime, this has been the only real avenue for change. This has been the hope I've seen in my entire lifetime, so I want to be very grateful for having you out here. I really need to ask from the deep, deepest part of my heart for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Tom. My name is Tom. Hey, Tom. Uh, I know you've all heard this question, but it won't leave my mind today. You both? There. This whole question about what good does it do to have rights if you can't exercise? What good does it do to have rights if you can't exercise? Our hands are tied. We're told where we can stand and where we can be. That's not the freedom of the So I keep asking myself, what good does it do to have all these rights? out how many rights we have when we test them out. That's the thing that we're finding really quickly here in being part of this encampment. And we're so happy to be part of helping the homeless, helping people that really need support, really need the compassion. Uh, just so you know that the, uh, I hope you got a piece of cake uh, because that was really brought here for Bradley Manning, his birthday today. A criminal facing facing a death sentence. What is it all about? Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is James, and many of you have seen me down here before. And today we come together to celebrate the freedoms we have under the Constitution of the United States: freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, the right to petition our government for the redress of grievances, and the right to be secure within our persons and our papers. Uh, people more eloquent than I once said, we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are endowed by their creator with inalienable rights. Be that creator a god, as some believe, or a combination of chemical processes governed by the laws of physics that over the process of four billion years evolved into make us, makes no difference. We have those rights from birth. But we only retain those rights. They only have meaning when we are free to exercise them. When the police come and steal our political speech in the form of our signs and banners, they deprive us of our birthright. When they fence us off the courthouse lawn to deny us our right to assemble there, they cut the heart out of those rights. And that is why we are here today. I am updating the language bit and using the word person rather than man, as I prefer to include all persons in the umbrella of humanity. When any of us are denied our basic rights. A person only has those rights that they can defend. 
We come here to show the folks in power that we will defend our rights. We will occupy this place, this space, as we are free women and men, and that have the right to peaceably assemble. We post our signs because as free people, we have the right to voice our political, political concerns. We will not allow the petty tyranny of local ordinance to deter us. We will not allow armed thugs to disregard those freedoms. We are committed to nonviolence, so when the police come, they can't arrest us, but we will return. We will be in the courts suing those officers and officials, but most of all, we will be here on the steps of the courthouse. Some of us beaten, but none of us bowed, and we will prevail. We are the 99% is the credo of our movement, and we are governed, and we will never consent it to this. We reject the crony capitalism and the poor sale to the highest bidder government that it has produced. We reject the imperialism that has led to death and destruction around the globe. We reject the prison industrial complex and the torture and dehumanization that it runs on and the destruction it brings to our communities. 5,425 occupiers have been arrested in these occupations in three months. Since the 2008 collapse, not one banker has been sent to prison. The people that destroyed our way of life got $17 trillion to rebuild, and we get jail cells. We reject the buyer beware, cap beware capitalism that allows the 1% to steal from the middle class, and we reject the criminalization of being poor. We will be allowed to sleep. We will be allowed to use the bathroom. These are basic commodities of human dignity, and we will provide them for everyone. They go into the DA's office and tell him the 50 things that he did wrong. And he's going like... Before I sing it, I want to say it again. Happy birthday, Bradley Manning! Alright, here we go. Please bless our Mother Earth. Planet so small. Stand beside her and guide her. Through the night with the light from us all. From the North Pole to the South Pole, in the West and in the East. Please, please bless our Mother Earth and bring us peace. Please bless our Mother Earth and bring us peace. Atrocities of the past and atrocities of the present by the police. Message, and we, for one thing, we